Hello everybody, Anton Crilly here from dropshiplifestyle.com. And today we are gonna be talking about the top 10 niches for dropshipping in 2021. Now, before we get into the list, I wanna let you know, I've actually been creating these top 10 lists since 2015. And if you're interested, you wanna go back and see over time how the niches have evolved, I'm gonna post a link in this video description that goes to a blog post that literally documents my top 10 niches from every year, again, going back since 2015. Also, a couple things I wanna mention before we get into this year's edition is that these products I'm gonna give you, they are all great. They are all 100% things that I would build stores around and that I would recommend. But it's very important that if you're new here, you're just getting into e-commerce, you're just getting started with drop shipping, that you understand that niche selection is the first step of the process. And what I don't want you to think is, I'm gonna watch this video, this guy Anton is gonna give me some product ideas, I'm gonna pick one and in two weeks, I'm gonna be rich because that is not how this works. This is a real business and niche selection is the first step of the process. So the way you wanna approach this is pick your niche, step one. Step two is do market research and find the companies that I call your future competitors, the people selling what you already wanna sell. Step three is building your website. We use Shopify for that. Step four is getting approved with suppliers with the brands you wanna sell for. Step five is optimizing your website for conversions so that people will actually buy from you. Step six is get traffic. Step seven is outsource and automate so you don't have to sit at your computer all day. And then step eight is constantly be optimizing and tweaking things to get the best results out of your drop shipping store. So again, niche selection is the foundation. It's important, you need to do it, but it's only the first step. So if you approach this video and this lesson with that in mind, you should do just great. And this should start you on the path to building a highly profitable semi-automated store, one that both delivers value to your future customers and to your bank account. It's also important to note that what you should really take away from this video is the mindset and the mentality that I use when picking these niches, because with that mentality and with that mindset, then these 10 are a starting point, but there'll be something you can build on and find as many as you need to or want to for yourself. So this is only the beginning. This is to get your mind working in the right direction and to understand what makes these niches good. So with that being said, let's go ahead let me share my computer screen and we will get into the top 10 niches for drop shipping in 2021. All right, welcome to the inside of my computer. So in 2021, we will be focusing on the new normal. Now, I will be the first person to say I don't like that phrase. I'm kind of sick of hearing it. With that being said, though, there's no denying that things have changed in a big way over this past year, over 2020. Now, I don't just want to talk about anything regarding the virus or anything like that. I just want to talk about specific behavioral changes that have impacted buying habits, because that is what I care about as a business owner, and that's what you should care about if you're trying to choose a niche. So specifically, what has changed? Well, obviously, there is an increased amount of people that are working from home. The next thing is that there are an increased amount of people that are concerned about their health. They don't wanna get sick, and if you're healthier and your immune system's stronger, then guess what? You have a better chance of being okay. Another thing, people have a big increase of free time. Now, this can go both ways, and unfortunately for all the people that have lost their jobs because it's not possible for them to do it in person, or because they work at a company that just wasn't prepared and went out, I totally sorry and sympathetic, but what I'm referring to here mainly is the people that now do have the ability to work from home, that are working remote, that are not commuting anymore, that have this additional free time instead of commuting, and also decrease in travel. Whether that be for work or pleasure, people really aren't going many places anymore, and because of that, people have more free time on their hands. Now what this all boils down to is that the upper middle class has more disposable income, and has more time to fill. Now, if you're a member of Dropship Lifestyle, my coaching program, you know that we specifically sell to the upper middle class. And right now, our target market, right, our target demographic, the upper middle class, 
Right now, more than ever, they have extra cash. Again, the ones that kept their jobs and are working from home because they're not paying to commute. They're not paying with the normal expenses that come up day to day when you're going into an office. They're not traveling, so they're not spending money on that. And they have more time to fill because again, they are simply at home. So this actually leads to opportunities in a few different ways that we can fill through niche selection. So that is what I'll be taking you through in these 10 niches. I should also note that these are in no particular order. I think they all make a lot of sense. And again, I would personally get into any of these. So with that being said, let's get into the list. Okay, so to start this off, I don't know if anybody has tried to get a pet recently, but I have been. I, uh, you know, typically travel a lot, again, with the whole 2020 life and not really going many places. And my wife and I thought, you know what? We have a three-year-old son now. We're not traveling as much. Let's get a dog. And we weren't the only ones that thought that because it is next to impossible to get what I want, at least a West Highland Terrier. And I have been on waiting lists now for about eight months. Now, I'm not saying anybody here should sell pets, okay? That's not my advice. But my advice is to sell pet supplies, things that are related that will help you to capitalize on the growing market for pets. So whether that be some type of fancy dog crate or some type of dog bed, any type of pet supplies that would appeal to the upper middle class. Again, the market for pets is one that is growing and in high demand on its own. You're not gonna be the person that sells pets, but you can be the person that sells the pet supplies that the new pet owners will then go and purchase. It's really always been a great market, and now it's just even more of a reason to get into it. Now, the next niche that I wanna share with you involves the kitchen. So like we mentioned, people are not going out as much, especially our demographic, the upper middle class. They have disposable income, they have more time, and many of them now are cooking more than ever. So what can you sell that is in the kitchen space that can help them get what they want, cook better at home, have more fun with it, and that of course can make you more money? Well, it could be things like pizza ovens for the house. It could be things like a fancy set of Japanese knives. Anything related to the kitchen that this market would be interested in would do great right now and is doing great right now. And by the way, I'm not saying you should build a store that sells these in-home pizza ovens and these fancy Japanese knives. I'm saying you should choose a sub niche like I always teach and build a store around that. But I'm saying anything that appeals to the upper middle class that has to do with cooking at home is doing very well right now and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. As you know, I'm not into picking niches on basically just purely trends or things that come up and disappear. And while everything I'm sharing now is currently trending up, even if things go back to normal sooner rather than later, these are niches that still have a very strong track record of being evergreen. So keep that in mind. They don't just disappear when there's a vaccine and everything's back to quote unquote normal. Now, the next niche that I wanna share with you is bicycles, but not just any bicycles, okay? Because bicycles are something that pretty much people can get what they want at a local specialty store or big box store. More specifically, what I wanna recommend is alternative types. So maybe things like part electric bicycles or things like the three-seater bicycles for adults, right? And this goes back to people having more time, people having extra money, and really people trying to be outdoors more, people picking up new hobbies. So this is something that, again, is already in high demand, but even without COVID, it's still evergreen. So this would be a great niche to get into in 2021. Now, the next niche that I wanna share with you is something that, again, is doing extremely well now, but something that I don't see going anywhere anytime soon. And this is home game room equipment. Now that's a super fancy photo of a home game room. I don't know anybody with one that looks that good. But what I do know is even when people start returning to their in-office jobs, a large percentage of people will still remain working from home. 
either because their company found out, guess what, they can get just as much done, or because they have some type of concern where they're just not ready yet. So because of that, people are spending more time at home with more free time, and especially with families, they're looking for things to do to fill that time. So what you can do is offer people things like popcorn machines, pool tables, ping pong tables, foosball tables, all these different games to build out a game room. And again, give everybody that has time and has money something to do while they're home. Something that works great, evergreen, year after year, but something that can do especially well in 2021. Now, moving right along, the next niche that I wanna give you is something that's kind of a variation on what I've talked about in the past. As you're probably aware, if you have children or know anybody with children, most of them are going to school and taking classes from home. Some of them wear suits like, uh, like this guy, very professional. But what I recommend for the next niche for 2021 is kids' workspace equipment. We've talked about in the past, right, home office equipment for the adults. But this is a time where so many children, literally tens of millions of children, are having to do everything from home. And the people that we sell to, the upper middle class, that have the disposable income, they are ready and willing to invest in better workspaces for their children that can get them more in the zone, if you wanna call it that, or more dialed in, or that can get them more creative, or that can get them to stick with work. And there are a ton of companies out there that make creative workspaces for children. And this is something that, again, is doing great right now, but something that I do see continuing to do well over the coming years. So this would be a great niche for 2021. Now, next one. I currently live uh, in Lake Norman. It's uh, an area in North Carolina. It's north of Charlotte, about 30 minutes. That's not my house, by the way. Maybe, maybe the next one, but, but that's, uh, yeah, that's not my house, but that's the lake over here. Now, because people, again, have money, have time, they're trying to do more things with their families that are outside, right? More local activities rather than taking their normal trips every year. So anything you can sell to these people that would give them that fun and that excitement, is something that's doing very well and that will continue to do well in 2021. So that can be things like stand-up paddle boards or things like the you know huge inflatable floats to tow on boats. These are things that people are using more than ever and buying more than ever because they have that time, they have that money. They're not taking their normal trip to Disney World. Their kids aren't going to their normal summer camps. So offer these things that people can enjoy while they're spending time with their family and friends at home. Water sports equipment is the next niche. So let's move right along and get into the next one I have for you here for the top 10 niches of 2021. And this, again, involves people spending time at home, specifically spending time outdoors. I don't know what your situation is, but what I've realized is a lot of people, whether that be neighbors or uh, even some you know, people I know through business, they're having small get-togethers, but they're doing them outside because obviously it's safer. And what I've realized, it's another way to even think about this, is the amount of people in the community that I live in that are currently getting uh, pools, in-ground pools installed in their yards is absurd. The block I live on, it seems like every other house either just had a pool put in since COVID started or is in the middle or beginning stages of construction. Uh, you know, those pool builders must be having literally a, a breakout year. But what people are doing now that they're home, now that they wanna be outside and still see their friends, is they're investing in their outdoor spaces. So I'm not saying to sell pool installations, but selling things like outdoor furniture. You know, I've talked about outdoor kitchen equipment in a previous year, which is still great. And anybody that shows that is probably crushing it right now. But outdoor furniture is a great niche for 2021 and beyond. Again, this is one of those niches that is evergreen. It will sell consistently, but now more than ever, people are buying, people are upgrading their home environments, specifically outdoors, so they can enjoy it with friends and family. So this is a great niche for 2021 and beyond. The other thing I'll say, because I know some of you are thinking right now, but isn't that super competitive? There's so many people selling it. Yeah, I've talked about competition so much, but competition occurs at the product level. 
There's a lot of people selling outdoor furniture because that's popular, but there are literally hundreds and hundreds of brands that make outdoor furniture. There are thousands and thousands of pieces that you can choose from to sell. And at the product level, there is always opportunity. Uh, by the way, if you want to learn more about that, I'll post a link in the description of this video. You can check out dropshipwebinar.com. And I have a free training there where I show you how we actually check to see if a product type is saturated. So it's dropshipwebinar.com, and I'll link it in the description as well. Now, the next niche, again, this one doesn't involve health, but this one involves being home and upgrading your, your home spaces. And this is for home bar equipment. Right? So people using extra areas that they have, maybe their basement, maybe a garage, and building home bars. So you can sell things like the actual bars. You could sell the bar stools. You can sell the kegerators that go underneath. You could sell the taps that go on top. Again, these are things that will sell next year, the year after, the year after, but things that are selling especially well now as people aren't going to the bar as often, as people, again, are saving money by not commuting to work and not buying new office clothes and not traveling. They're spending the money on themselves and in their homes. Home bars is a great niche that taps into that. Now, another one extremely similar would be to sell wine refrigerators. Again, same exact reasons as home bars, but this is a niche with very expensive products. The buyers are upper middle class. They have the money to spend and they are definitely buying these right now. Now, the next niche I'll give you, niche number 10. This one is almost a throwback because I've given you this one in the past, but I can't go through what people are buying right now without saying it. And that is home gym equipment and related products. So selling things like weights, yoga mats, full home gym equipments, exercise bikes that are stationary, elliptical trainers, treadmills, promoting things like online fitness classes and meal delivery services. Now, what I'll say about this niche is that anybody that followed my advice, I think it was in 2019 when I first recommended this, probably had an unreal last few months, probably the, the best year, I mean, I, I would have to assume the best year ever since you've been in business because this industry absolutely exploded as gyms started to close and as people were scared to go back. With that being said, what happened is it got so popular that all the top brands that you would sell for sold out of inventory. So this is a niche, while I do think it's still great, just know that there's not as much inventory available from suppliers because they literally sold more inventory than they ever sold before. So this is one that might take longer to break into as suppliers start to replenish inventory and catch up with demand, but it's still something that is a great niche that I would highly recommend. And I wish I had a store in this niche before COVID started, but it is still a great time to get into it. Okay, so those are the niches, guys. That's it. I hope you got a ton of value and I hope you can really see where the market is and what makes these so good. I wanna show you a couple more things before we wrap this up. First off, for everybody that's a member of Dropship Lifestyle, if you haven't been in the members area for a while, just log in. And then when you go to the Dropship Blueprint, just click Start Lesson. What we have here in the sidebar right here, you'll see it says Get Your Niche Verified. If you have a niche that is maybe related to one I just talked about, or even if it's not, just something you've had on your mind that you wanna know, is it worth it, is it not? Log in, click Get My Niche Verified, and that will allow us to actually give you the green light, the red light, or say, you know what, maybe you wanna modify it this way or that way to make it more profitable. Also, Module 1, Niche Selection, be sure, if it's been a while, go through all of these lessons as a refresher, and be sure to do the same with Module 2, all about market research. One cool thing that's there that you might not have seen yet is a brand new group of tools that we created one to check market demand, and another one to do competitor research, both included in the members area. Uh, finally, for anybody that's watching this that's not a member, that wants more information on how we build highly profitable semi-automated stores, be sure to go to dropshipwebinar.com. It'll take you to this page. You can register for a free training. And on that training, I'll also give you a copy of this, which is my list of 237 profitable products for 2021. Again, you can get this at dropshipwebinar.com. So with that being said, as always, if you got value, I'd appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up or a like. 
definitely click subscribe if you enjoyed this and you wanna see more videos just like this. And also leave a comment below letting me know what you think about these niches. And of course, if you have any questions, always love seeing those comments below. So thank you everybody, I appreciate you and I will talk to you in the next video. See ya.